welcome back this session is around linux and uh, most of you may be already aware that linux is getting more and more popular day by day when a um, lot of applications are getting developed uh, based on the cloud native requirement as well as uh, if the applications are uh, targeted towards containerization most of the containers are al already on uh, linux containers so it is becoming very essential to know the Linux commands and also some level of uh, shell scripting to automate a lot of activities. So in this particular session, we'll uh, go through the uh, list of options that are available online. So uh, where we can go and practice the Linux command, where we can go and write the shell script from the basics, and also we can go and um, look out for any bugs or any uh, errors on that particular script. So this is going to be a very important session and uh, I'll be walking you through um, a lot of uh, options around and there are a lot of online uh, Linux terminals and a lot of online uh, bash editors available. I mean, I'm not referring to creating an account in AWS or creating an account in Azure. I'm not referring to that, but there are a lot of online options where you can just directly go and take the terminal, take the console, and you can start practicing the commands from basics to advanced. Even if you want to practice uh, Docker commands or uh, any particular application specific uh, activities like Terraform automation and uh, shell scripting, you can definitely do those on uh, these particular uh, terminals. So <clears throat> yeah, whether you want to just practice or whether you want to analyze or test some of the shell script, I'll walk you through the different options available. So just the only thing you need is you need to have a laptop and uh, you need to have a, a browser, uh, any of the browser that are listed here. It can be your uh, Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or any Opera or any browser, okay? So the very first option I would like to show you is around the Onworks. Onworks gives you a lot of uh, different uh, Linux desktop as well as Linux um, uh, operating system. See if you look at here, if you go to onworks.net, you don't have to create any login or anything. You can just go and get a lot of different things uh, online for free. And uh, you can go and choose the operating system of your choice. And uh, if you just click on this, it will open up a kind of window like this. And uh, you will get a desktop in uh, a minute actually, in 20 seconds or 30 seconds. And you can just go and enter on that particular operating system. And you will be able to go, I mean, you will be able to access it and uh, you can start working on uh, the operating system within uh, a couple of uh, uh, minutes. Okay, so I can just show you from uh, beginning, maybe it, it has got timed out. So now it will uh, start the loading. So it will uh, start the operating system and it will load the uh, file system. It will mount uh, the required contents and it will be ready in uh, just 20 seconds. Okay, so while this is getting loaded, Okay, so uh, you can also access the Onworks in another option also. So if you are having Google Chrome, like what I have got, not just Google Chrome, even for other browsers also, you have got a lot of extensions where you can go and access the operating system. So I'll show you that. So meanwhile, uh, the server is getting prepared for us to uh, go and uh, explore the commands and the scripts and so on. Okay, so if you go to chrome.google.com slash web store. This is your uh, Google Chrome web store, right? And if you go and search for Onworks, you'll be able to get a list of um, uh, options like this, the Fedora Linux, and then uh, the software downloader for Windows. And one of them is the Ubuntu free online Linux server. So you can go and run different GUI of your choice and you can go and practice. Okay, so once you add it, you will get that particular uh, extension added as a um, in, in your Chrome itself. You can directly access it from within the Chrome. You don't have to have any kind of uh, client or secure shell from your laptop to access it. You can access it directly from the online web browser. So I'm just trying to eliminate the requirement of uh, any cloud provider account or uh, any virtual machines that you need to create on your uh, laptop. See, before uh, these options, you might be uh, doing either of uh, either one of that, right? You might have had a VMware workstation or virtual box to go and practice uh, these kind of Linux commands and you have to spend at least uh, uh, 30 minutes to set up the, create the virtual machine, install the operating system and get it. See now within few seconds, you are able to get access to the desktop and you can start uh, working on the terminal and you get it uh, much faster. Okay, you can uh, just go and uh, play around and you can go and check the kernel 
you can go and uh, find the details around it and you can also zoom in and zoom out you can also integrate your uh, google drive so that you if you want to save some session and you, if you want to reopen it again you can also do that so you've got all the graphical options also uh, you have got the complete uh, linux desktop version so you can go and practice all the commands in this particular option so onworks.net is a very popular uh, option and similar to that there are other options like js linux where they have given you very small uh, linux operating systems uh, which are like 5 mb 10 mb size you can go and access the x window or the console and you can practice uh, all the Linux commands and uh, all the Linux uh, shell scripting and so on. So JS Linux is uh, another beautiful option. You have to go and access it using bellard.org slash JS Linux. And also you have got JS Unix also. So where you can go and access the website uh, using the JS uh, Unix option. So this is the link for JS Linux. You will get a similar uh, console i've opened uh, alpha and linux here and uh, it consumes very less memory just 192 mb memory is what it consumes and it boots up very fast and you get uh, both the options you you get both uh, uh, cli as well as gui but we our focus is to go and practice a lot of commands and uh, even uh, if you want to go and uh, uh, have a complete uh, access to the embedded system and you want to upload some files and so on even that is supported in js linux and the js unix because on the back end it is written using um, javascript completely so you get uh, both console based system as well as geo based online system it's a beautiful option js linux and you got another option called webminal but uh, there is nothing to do here you just have to create a username and uh, password and uh, you'll be getting access to online uh, linux terminal which will be very good and uh, it is very impressive okay and i would say it is my personal favorite as well because like you get uh, a lot of help a lot of uh, guidelines it gives you step-by-step -step lab instructions also in parallel there is also an uh, interactive beam tutor command that is available so you can work on multiple split screens within the console and uh, the way you have to go and log in is webminal.org so this is the link that you have to open and uh, once after you create it you can have uh, multiple consoles and uh, many users are using it and they have been uh, uh, using it as a learning platform you can go and play with linux commands you can go and uh, do a lot of uh, different things like write your bash scripts create uh, mysql tables learn different programming languages it's a very good virtual platform you don't have to uh, spend a lot of time setting up the environment you get it online uh, for free so now these options are primarily for practicing your commands, uh, basically doing some kind of um, uh, bash scripts and so on. But then if your intention is to go and write some scripts or uh, run some code, then I would recommend to go and use tools like lead code, which is more popular to uh, go and write uh, uh, the codes of your uh, choice it supports many different uh, code and even you can go and write your shell script and uh, you can uh, try executing it there are a lot of uh, options like uh, interview assessment and it gives you a lot of uh, flexibility and you can also go and uh, take some snippets and so on okay so lead code is another playground where you can go and um, create a lot of uh, code and online and uh, you, you can just uh, run those uh, shell script and get it so you, you get the option to run the bash script so our intention is to go and uh, get some deeper knowledge on the shell scripting so you can go you don't have to uh, really sign up or sign in you, you can just go and select the bash option from the drop down and uh, you are uh, all uh, good to play there okay so this is one beauty option and the next option i would recommend is uh, the tutorials point uh, coding ground here also you can just go and uh, have a lot of um, scripts source code created and uh, you can also execute it you get the terminal on the right side you can um, write your code on the left it's like your powershell isc you get both uh, option to write the script you get the integrated scripting environment plus you also get the terminal to go and uh, run it and get the output so this is another beautiful option the next option is on uh, the jdoodle jdoodle is again uh, a similar option where you can go and uh, uh, get a integrated bash shell integrated development environment if you are uh, interested in uh, shell scripting definitely you can uh, try this and it gives you a lot of uh, interactive options where also it gives you a lot of uh, insights whether uh, you are writing it right or if there are any issues with that and 
if you have already done all shell scripts and then you have it handy and but you want to check if there is any bug or if you want to uh, check if there is any issues with your script then shellcheck.net is the best site where you can go and uh, load your uh, code and uh, once after you load it you will get the bugs you get the details on now uh, what is uh, right and what is wrong with your uh, shell script this is a very good tool where you can go and check against um, the script that you have written okay we talked about uh, these tools i think uh, code anywhere is also another tool uh, which you can use this is like id.codeanywhere.com you can also you will also get a similar uh, visual studio kind of experience and uh, this is again online okay so my compiler is under the beautiful site where you can go and uh, play around with multiple uh, uh, programming languages i'm not sure if i explain the my compiler but yeah i can just show you that it's it's a very beautiful tool you get uh, different uh, option, programming languages as an option there. So if you go here, again, similar to uh, the other tools, you get option of uh, your choice to go and select the assembly language or uh, select the specific language of your choice. And uh, you can uh, write it and you can um, run it and you can play with a uh, lot of options. You also get a lot of guide, a lot of uh, manual uh, to understand it better. Okay, so uh, you can just select the bash here and then uh, you can play around uh, with this particular script okay the last option um, see uh, even uh, we get all uh, op options here but still if you want to fine-tune or if you want to have access to your complete access to your uh, virtual machine console or uh, virtual machine then uh, I can recommend one option which is uh, going and creating an uh, server with light sale light sale is uh, another uh, beautiful uh, service from my uh, from aws where if you go to uh, lightsale.aws.com you get uh, option to go and create servers free for three months you can create a free tier uh, linux system and you can use it for free for uh, three months without uh, paying anything so if i scroll down you can see that these three options are available for first three months free of cost. So 90 days, you can uh, practice Linux uh, without paying anything. So you get a lot of operating system of your choice. You get uh, Ubuntu, Debian, uh, OpenSUSE, CentOS, BSD, and uh, Amazon Linux. So there are many options where uh, you can explore and uh, uh, get yourself familiar with Linux commands and shell script. So I'm planning to uh, launch some um, sessions on um, the shell scripting linux commands and so on so uh, stay tuned and uh, meanwhile like if you are already pursuing uh, linux you can uh, utilize these different options that i have explained so if i'm just sharing one option maybe that one option might not work due to their uh, uh, technical challenges and stuff that's the reason i've just shared uh, three four options each for uh, practicing the command writing the shell script and then uh, checking the bugs on the existing script that you want to Okay, so this is what I thought of conveying today. Thank you for listening and we'll meet up in the next session.